In this webcast, we're going to take a look at how to use the ACE Mechanism Calculator to help you out in drawing your mechanisms and making sure that the arrows that you want are being interpreted by ACE correctly. So we're going to go back to some of these ACE help pages that we've used previously by going to the ACE login page and before you log in, clicking here down on the bottom. This time we're going to take a look at the ACE Mechanism Calculator. This has been students' favorites in the past. Clicking on that mechanism calculator, and up pops a Marvin window. And within this window, you can draw a particular mechanism if you would like to, and use ACE to calculate what it interprets your arrows to be. So what I'm going to do is put in this exact mechanism that we worked in the previous webcast, and take a look to see what the ACE mechanism calculator predicted based off of what we've drawn. So all you do is you draw this in here with the arrows, Go to View Products at the bottom, and ACE processes it right here. And when you calculates it for you, it puts right at the top of the screen, it puts the overall equation, and then also inputs the products of those arrows right here within the Marvin window for you to copy over to any other ACE window you may have open. One thing the mechanism calculator does give you that looks a little bit wonky is these kind of long bonds here between hydrogen and oxygen and we don't really like seeing a lot of those and sometimes ACE might not like them either. So in order to clean these up just go to edit, clean in 2D and voila we've created nice looking structures that we can easily export to another ACE window by just clicking the copy button going to another ACE window and then pasting. So hopefully you get a very good idea of how good this and how powerful this mechanism calculator is. And we highly recommend that you make use of it to make sure the arrows that you draw are exactly what ACE thinks they are before you waste an attempt on an exam.